steak. Now, is there something that you shouldn't do with steak? Is there a way that you cook it that is like blasphemous to those out there that are like steak purists? Yes. We know the type, right? Yes, there are. It, ways to ruin it. <laughs> there are ways to ruin it, but today is not going to be one of those ways. Today we're going to cook you it sure? beautifully. We're just going to present it in a different way okay. and season it in a different way. Today okay. I'm going to show you how to make honey balsamic. Balsamic? Balsamic. Bell. Bell. Balsamic. Bell of the ball. Well, Mom, Cinderella, we got to get you ready for the ball. <sighs> hey guys, my name is CJ. This is CJ's <laughs> first cooking show. Right over here is Nate. Hey. Right over there is Ethan. Glad that you were on the set with us. We're going to have some fun today. If you like steak, stick around. Also, if this you is your first time viewing, it. every time the bell rings, grab something to sip on because we ring it a pretty decent amount. You know how here. I be. How? Just, just pooping. You know how I be. <laughs> You don't watch The Office. No, I don't. I go, are you okay? Did you throw up in there? No, I'm just pooping. You know how I be. But it smells like throw up in there. Crazy world, a lot of smells. So come So now it's preference. You can use any steak that you like, but my friends, I recommend going with a big old thick fatty Dude, you ribeye. Dude, you hidden. Look at that mother. Yeah, this is a monster. Feel free to use sirloin. Feel free to uh, actually don't do like filet mignon because that would be a lot of steak. Mm. Not just not the appropriate. An expensive steak bite. A very expensive steak It'd bite. It'd be a steak bite. Pinkies up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So we're gonna season this uh, pretty generously, and really because we have the ability to, because that is a Man, lot. That's a behemoth. That is a that is a monster steak. That's really so, the way to go, though. So you're not worried about well. Over. For this, we're gonna we're gonna cook it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a double whammy gotcha. ha ha. Wait, all right. Back and, in business. Oh. How many rings and brings have you oh. brought? <laughs> I have brought none. I have rang none. Therefore, there won't be none. Don't start none. Won't be none. That fatty side, that's Untouched. my bite. This is what we're gonna do. Starting things off, smoking hot, screaming hot, set to stun, as we like to say in the biz. Is screaming? It was screaming. More of a, <laughs> not really a full scream. <laughs> hey, do you know uh, the Scream 6 is coming out? Is it 6? Yeah. Ethan mentioned it earlier. Uh, hello? I'm sorry, I guess I dialed the wrong number. <laughs> now, while that's cruising, let's make our glaze. There's a, there's not a ton of ingredients in this, It's, but it is a process. You got a, a few things. So first off, we're going to stall, stall. We're going to start with some, <laughs> I have to say it. Balsamic. I always, I always get it backwards. Balsamic or balsamic? Balthazar. Yes. Balthazar. That expression alone has made my entire night. Be pretty generous with this because that's going to be like our main flavor. Now, right after that, we're going to hit that with some soy sauce. And if you've never heard of this before, this is ponzu. It's mm. kind of like soy, but a little zestfully clean. You're not fully clean unless you're zest. Ponzu and balsamic. Yes, we're going to be. Sorry, bal. 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 Then we've got some honey. Uh, this is going to give us some different sweetness with the balsamic. And then we're going to punch up the flavor with some of this garlic paste. You could use fresh garlic if you like, but the paste is just going to incorporate mm -hmm. well into the sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to get a little heat with some crushed red pepper. And then i um, actually going to do a pinch of actual coarse black pepper. And let's give this a mix and set it aside because it's not time to work on that just yet. Our steak is still cooking. Our glaze is glazing, if you will. Glazy. So I suppose it's getting glazy. Stop being so glazy, Ethan. Kip hasn't done flipping anything today. The beauty of this recipe is there's not too many steps, but. Not a lot of moving parts. Not a lot of moving parts, oh, but you do. Get, I know. Get out of town. I know, I know. Get. So that was like what? Uh, like three or four minutes? Probably, Ish. yeah, probably four minutes. Um, we got I'm another four minutes it. there. Feel free to Just omit happen. this from your recipe if you don't like it, because really the star of the show is the steak. However, 
I personally think bell peppers go wonderful with steak. Now, I'm gonna do like a large, I'm just gonna do a large-ish dice. I think that that's probably a decent size there. I want them to be a little smaller than the actual steak bites, but big enough that you can kind of like toothpick it, mm -hmm. or you know, just with a fork you can get it. One bell pepper, one bite those, of steak. Uh, fondue forks? Oh, dude, I yeah, that would be fun. Those. Like, it's, it's almost like those long cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's for your food. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good call. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of heat, but also, I think it's gonna be really pretty in contrast with the green and the flavors and all the things that we got going on. It's gonna be like Martha Stewart's new kitty litter. It's called Pretty Litter. Oh, shut So up. bad. Never again. <laughs> Never again. Dude, that was ridiculous. It's a good thing. They should throw, throw you in prison for that. Speaking of getting thrown in prison, Whoa. hey CJ, did you know? Did you know that Johnny Cash was actually in prison? Well, sorry. Awesome prison. He got arrested seven different times, but he was only in jail out of all of that for one day. That what was it blues? for? What did he go to jail for? Do you know? Ah, uh, just multiple things, drugs, um, probably mostly that. <laughs> probably mostly <laughs> that. Mostly, mostly dead. dead. <laughs> Your friend here is only mostly dead. Well, <laughs> here's to uh, the man in, man black. in black. I hear the train a coming, a coming round the bend. Now here's a fun pro move in my opinion with a steak like this, pro super move. thick. I'm gonna kind of flip this over and slide it to the side. That way we allow mm. the crust to develop on the Extra sides crispiness. of the steak. Yep. So give that a minute or two. Flip it a minute or two. Now, my friends, it is officially done. We are ready to go ahead and- It's done? Well, we're gonna pull this bad boy right now and let it rest. Right now, we are sitting at like, oh yeah, we are, yeah, we're like a- Rare town? Rare town, like medium rare into rare, but that's not how we wanna do our steak at the moment. I wanna let this sit here, let it take a moment to breathe. Mm. It's been through a lot. And then um, probably, because of how thick it is, we're looking at like five minutes to let this rest. Want all those juices to chill out, spread out nice and evenly. So, so we're halfway is, done, dude. This is so we're not done, done. Not done, done, but like we're pretty close to done. When we come back, we're gonna slice it up. Then we'll be done. Throw it back on, glaze, bell peppers. You're then done. we'll be done. You're done. Cool. All right, dude. Let's look at this. We we brought a plate over here because we didn't want to lose any juices, but like Man. we we almost had no like Good. juices. I mean, that's not. Whoa, whoa. What the? That's what I was gonna do, but. You did it. <laughs> but it wasn't a lot. So, we're gonna... Well, we did go to Rare, and it was a hard sear. Correct. So, all right, let's get let's get into this bad boy and start the... This see. is the move right here let's for see steak how, bites. Yeah, let's see how Rare... We, oh, oh dude, yeah. see, we are still like... That's gorgeous. So, the reason we did this and got it Rare is because here in a minute, we're gonna be going back on, and we're gonna get another Wicked Ooh, sear. That's the fatty bite I want. And I've done this before, and you did a video, and I was actually shocked because a long time ago I made steak bites, like literally two years ago, and I diced them up, or yep. I'm sorry, cubed them up ahead of time, yep. like what you've always done. And like you is in, like the collective you, the, the royal, royal we. we. <laughs> the royal we. Come to realize this is actually a better option because once you cube them up, then you've got slow cooking taking place here. We're gonna do a quick sear. Actually, speaking of which, before I even finish chopping this up, I'm gonna throw my bell peppers on because Into I want- the fat? Yep. Oh, dude. I want these to cook right here. Oh, yeah. For just a minute before my steak. Gonna add a little bit of oil there. And look at that, dude. Reintroducing that seasoning, oh, the flavors, on, the fat. All right, so that's gonna cruise. Now, while that is cruising, we're gonna Dice these up, really get them in. Um, I'm gonna go for bigger bites. You could go as small as you I want, like but the bigger reference, it's toothpickable. Toothpickable is a good reference, but the bigger they are, the like less chance you have of overcooking them, mm -hmm. right? And for a big steak like this, that's what we want to like do. Like a medium steak bite, that's where it's at. I think this is it, dude. We're gonna introduce. Okay, so let's actually slide our bell peppers off to the side, throw a little bit more olive oil down here, and start the searing process. Now, once we get some of that nice crust on all the edges. I'm gonna go ahead and start 
the glazing process. So we're gonna introduce town. this awesome honey balsamic glaze. Good lord, the aroma off the Now, balsamic. dude, as it starts to cook, Whoa. it's gonna reduce and it's gonna thicken up and literally like glaze the steaks. Um, now, so once you shiny, you might have to introduce the glaze like probably two, three times, uh, depending on how it starts to reduce and how long you have to cook it. But I think that we are at that point where this is oh, done. Yeah. So oh, yeah. um, here in just a second. Nope, we're officially there. Let's go ahead and plate that. Now, what I have here is just a nice, elegant white plate. Going to um, pull those steak bites off. It's like family style. Family style. Toothpickable. I'm going to keep that phrase. Toothpickable. It's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so toothpickable. Uh, and then I'm going to garnish with a little bit of fresh Italian parsley and these wicked, screaming hot red Ooh. chilies. Uh, this is beautiful, it's my friend. Food. This what is have you done? In this occasion, like most, I feel like a post dusting with our Blackstone Steakhouse is definitely a must. As they say, the post dust is a must. They? Uh, they you. being we, and me being us, and us being. Yes, that's yeah. exactly okay, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's logic. Uh, dude, this is fantastic. I haven't they had one yet, food. but I have a feeling they look wicked. this is going to be the best little steak bite that I've those. ever had. Save the neck for me, Clark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eddie. Dude. Juicy, it's a decent sized steak, glazy. That's how it should be. Yes, I'm gonna hold off on the red bell pepper for just a second. It's hot, but let's let's get into it. I snuck one and it burned my face. It's fatty, it's juicy, it's tender. The gr like the honey. We're talking about your mom like that. <laughs> my mom actually watches the show. Your mom and is mom, a very lovely lady. Nobody feels. I that would way. take her out to Sizzler. And never call her again. Can I uh, offer you a oh, toothpick? Oh. Thick is the way to go. That dude, way you have- it's still medium. It's still tender. I know, I know. So, do, so we've still got dude. that pink inside right there. Proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of me too. Leave it in the <laughs> comments. What do you guys think? But speaking of comments, my friends, we are here. It is time for CJ's favorite comments. From impressive to obsessive, a little spice and the not so nice, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. For all you new viewers, this is the segment of the show where I screenshot comments from Ooh, you. Yeah, you do. Because if you guys write it, we read it. And then we have a good laugh, and then unfortunately. We spread the Christmas cheer for all to hear. Thanks, but I don't sing. Exactly. Fortunately or unfortunately, I like to share what you said. It could be a nice one, could be a not so nice one. Today, starting on. The top, from no particular order, I guess we're gonna say. This the top is being nice? Yeah, okay. maybe. This comes in from Dustin McGrew. McGrew? Is he <laughs> McDuck's cousin? I'm so sorry, Mr. McDuck. Tacos look amazing. But then, guys, cut back on the goofy interruptions. Literally makes the video yeah. almost twice totally understand what he means. as long. Like, if you wanna hear somebody talk. Nobody's like interrupting right talking. now. I am the one talking. Is even the so, worst. this is what he's. Okay, Dustin, I get what you're saying. Hoffman? Dustin, I bet he's an excellent driver. <laughs> of course, I'm an excellent driver. That was deep. <laughs> Leave it in the comments below if you know that reference. Uh, Dustin, nah, dude, I yeah. believe is the term nah, you're looking dude. for. I think he was being sarcastic and he secretly loves the show and bought a Nadu shirt just for this moment. You can jump out. I'm an excellent driver. All right, this is a fun one. This is like super random. Chris uh, Ostrowski. Oh. Yep. Um, says, I hop, I didn't know this, just bought, just brought back the Rudy Tootie, fresh and fruity, and I think Rudy you inspired Tootie. them. We did. Rudy Tootie. I have the Rudy Tootie. If you haven't yet, go back and watch the I hop Rudy Tootie uh, episode. The... Rudy Tootie. Rudy Tootie. Rudy Tootie. How many times are we gonna say it in an episode? So hey, Chris. Uh, thank you for filling me in on that. I did Dude. not know. Way to root and toot and leave a comment. Fresh and fruit and... Oh, Sean. Sean Swanson. Swanny. Swammy. Swanny. Swansonite. I was way off. Uh, Sean says the guy behind the camera needs to shut up more than 50% of the time. Wait. So is this a mathematical equation? So 50% of, of the time... 50% of the time it works every time? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Sean, really great. sorry no, buddy. Exactly what just... he's talking about, about talking too so much. So are you saying that if I, there's if possibly I a words, no, that no, be... Everyone relax, she's not gonna take anyone's air time. Jim Hanlon, hello Jim. Jim, Jim Hanlon says, this show is like idiocracy on steroids. So 
the movie Idiocracy, Ethan introduced me to, and that movie sucked. <laughs> So if this is like that on steroids, we should just shut this bad boy down. Okay, cool. Because this you. is, yeah. Good seeing everybody. Alrighty. All right. That's a wrap. You're still here? We're back. We changed our minds. <laughs> well. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Go home. Oh, this is a twofer. Hello, hey. Jim. Jim is back. Jim Hanson? Jim Hanlon is back. Do up da ba do up da ba do. Jim Hanlon is back on your episode, and he said, oh, here we go. Can you keep. Uh, not really great typing. Can you keep your son as your sidekick and drop CJ? Your son Wait, has better commentary like, than CJ. He doesn't like me on your show. And he doesn't like me on your show, but he likes your son on your show. And he likes your show. Man. Jim, choose a side, bro. Jim Jim Henson. I don't know what to say about this, bro. Mm. Alright, we're gonna wrap this up from Chris Cook. This is another comment from your show in reference Jeez. to my show. Chris says literally drooling in anticipation of making this. Dang. Would have okay. never thought to, combi to combine these two icons uh, of the backyard, but what genius. Wait, us? I, I guess. The icons? I think we're maybe the icons. Dude. Guess cooking with CJ is really paying off. Nope. Yeah! Nah, dude. Yeah! Nah, dude. Nah, dude. Don't worry about it. Chris, yes, it is finally paying off. Thank you. Yes. He's having a little fun with his life. He's not being <laughs> Uh, You just used my steak technique on your show. <laughs> Appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with us. This was a fun, that was definitely the best Delicious. steak bite I have ever made. I will use that technique from now on. Nate, I give honor hmm. where honor and credit is due. Thanks, Who mommy. did you steal that idea from? I, I will let them know. It was your mother. Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. Mom, I appreciate you. Be sure to go to blackstoneproducts.com. Also go to griddlenation.com. Mm. If you have not yet, it is always a party. You can go right <laughs> over there to the party. Wait for the, uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, nah, dude, you can find those. Uh, you got to look us up. You got to really go digging if you want those shirts. Those are special yeah, ones. Also, where it is. someone the other day said um, that we need to do aprons. Okay. Like a ring and a ring of apron. All right. I'm going to figure that out. Um, if you want to send me something to put on the OG board, please do. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, this is CJ's first cooking show where we cook. And we quote. That's right. We will see you down the road on the Blackstone Network. You just stole Destination Delicious ending. I inadvertently did. They're great. They're really great. Thank you for the great ending. It's mine now. See you down the road. <laughs> <laughs> so